In Algebra 1, you most frequently used the slope-intercept form of a line. That is y equals mx plus b. We love slope-intercept form because it is the easiest to graph. But when it comes to creating an equation of a line, point-slope form tends to be the simplest. After a few algebraic steps, it's easy to transform a point-slope form of an equation of a line into a slope-intercept form. Point slope looks like this. y minus the y part of the point is equal to m times x minus the x part of the point. And another reminder is that parallel lines always have the same slope and perpendicular lines always have opposite reciprocal slopes. For example one, write the equation of the line in slope intercept form that is parallel to this line y equals 1 half x plus 3 and goes through the point 3 1. For step 1, write the information you need to write the equation of the line. First of all, the slope of this is 1 half. Parallel lines have the same slope, so our slope will also be 1 half. x1, y1 is the point that they want your line to go through. That makes x1 equal to 3 and y1 equal to 1. Following the point-slope form of a line, fill in your values. y minus the y part of the point, which is 1, equals m, 1 half, times x minus the x part of the point, which is 3. This is the point-slope form. If you are asked for point-slope form, this is your answer. But they want us to write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form after putting it into point-slope form. That's going to take two steps. First, we distribute the slope, then we isolate y. 1 half times x is 1 half x. 1 half times 3 over 1 is 3 over 2. And that was a negative 3 over 1, so this would be a negative 3 over 2. Positive times a negative is a negative. Last step is to isolate y to get y by itself, so we need to add 1 on both sides. Once we add 1 on both sides, that isolates y. 1 half x minus, oh, 3 halves plus 1. Now 1 can be rewritten as 2 over 2, and if we have the same denominator, then we can easily combine the fractions. Negative 3 halves plus 2 halves is negative 1 half. That is the slope-intercept form of your parallel line. For example two, we're going to write an equation of a perpendicular line. Write the equation of the line in slope-intercept form that goes through the point 1, 4, and is perpendicular to y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. They're missing an x. The slope of our line here is negative 1 half. But that's not the slope of the line that we're going to create because our line needs to be perpendicular to that. I'm just going to write that as m perp to say this is the slope of the perpendicular line. Perpendicular slopes are opposite reciprocals. So our first slope is negative, meaning our perpendicular slope will be positive. Our first slope is 1 over 2, meaning our perpendicular slope will be 2 over 1. All you've got to do is change the sign and flip the fraction. That can be more easily written as 2. So the slope of our perpendicular line will be 2. The point that it needs to go through is 1, 4, which will be our x1, y1. Keep in mind, for point-slope form, this x and this y are unchanging. They are always y and x. The parts that we plug in, or the parts that are dependent on the problem, is the point, x1, y1, and the slope. M. We never replace this y or this x with a number because if we want an equation of a line, we need to start off with a y and an x. Let's create our point slope form equation. y minus the y part of the point is 4 equals m, which is 2, times x minus the x part of the point, which is 1. This is the point slope form. You are done finding the point-slope form. But now, we're going to use that to get our slope-intercept form. 
How do we do that? Distribute, then isolate y. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Isolate y. This is our slope-intercept form of the line in the form y equals mx plus b. Graph the equation of the line that is parallel to the line below and goes through the point 0 comma negative 2. Then write the equation of this line in slope-intercept form. Our first step is to find the slope of the existing line. Slope is the vertical distance over the horizontal distance between two points. Since we're going down and to the right, a downward motion is a negative number. A rightward motion is a positive number. So negative two, positive one. Our rise, we do the vertical distance first, is negative two over one. And we can just reduce that to be negative two. So what would our parallel slope be? If you wanted a slope that is parallel, it would be the same slope, negative 2. Step 2, start at the given point, 0, negative 2, and then go from there. Use your slope to find your next point. I'm going to go down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. Oh, I'm running out of space. So I'll go back to our original point, and where would my next point be that's above this? We would go up two and then to the left one. Otherwise, it will not continue to be a line. Our last step is to write the equation of the blue line, the line that we just graphed. Well, we would need to find our y-intercept. Where are we crossing the y-axis? That's at negative two. And we would need to know our slope. We already figured that out. The slope of the parallel line was negative two. The slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, so y equals mx plus a negative 2 is just minus 2. We have now created the equation of a line that is parallel to the one that was graphed for us. Graph the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the line below and goes through the point 0, negative 2. Step 1 is to find the slope of the graphed line. Looks like we're going up three and to the right one. Both of those are positive directions up and to the right. So our slope of the given line is positive three over positive one. The slope that is perpendicular to that, what we need to do is two things. We need to change the sign of the previous slope and flip the fraction. Our previous slope is positive, so that means the perpendicular slope will be negative. Our previous slope was three over one, so we flip that fraction and make the new slope 1 over 3. To graph our line, we start with the point they wanted us to go through, 0, negative 2. For our slope, we'll go down 1 and to the right 3. Or we can go up 1 and to the left 3. The y-intercept of this line is negative 2, just like the last example. And the slope of this line is negative 1 third. So our slope-intercept form would be y equals mx plus b y equals negative one-third x plus a negative two, which can simply be written as minus two. And there is our equation of a perpendicular line to the one given to us in the graph. Reflection, how are graphing parallel and perpendicular lines different? What is similar? In conclusion, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Point slope form is y minus the y part of the point equals m times parentheses x minus the x part of the point. When do you use point slope form? When you're given a point and a slope.